Hi everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial video to look at the Naviate Rebar Reinforcement add-on. So this is the new Revit extensions. So not a lot has changed, it's pretty much the same as the 2018 version. Um, you'll see in this model, in my previous video, I showed you how to reinforce the columns using the extension and today I'm going to look at showing you how to use it to reinforce a beam. So I've got a model with a concrete beam. I'm going to navigate over to the Naviate tab and click the Beam tool. So I select it and a dialog box will pop open and allow me to fill out some parameters to automatically reinforce the beam. So here we have it, reinforcement of the beams. Um, first things first you can click the file tab and you can go to the regional settings and just double check that your reinforcing bars are working to the correct standard in this instance I'm working of the British standard it travel six so we first of all look at the geometry it will read the Revit family and it will give you all the family and type and the geometric parameters we're going to look at reinforcing with stirrups first of all so I'm going to let's go with a 10 mil stirrup. The stirrup type can be controlled on the drop down. I'm going to go with a pretty standard one here in the UK. Um, whether we're hooking the end of the bars or not, so you, this will read your Revit family content. And we can set the cover. So I'm going to go with 30 mil cover all round. You can put in the anti shrinkage bars. So that will do the bar along the middle. But in this instance, I'm going to keep it pretty standard. So that will set out our stirrups. We can then control the distribution. So this is where it will read the span. Now currently my beam is a single spanning beam, but if there is multiple spans, you can build in different spacing. So again, I'm gonna keep that 250 spacing. We have a distribution type, so you can actually control the different types. So let's go with this, where we've got three different spans. So three different spacings. Let's do a length of 1500 1500 so 1500 here for these are going to be 100 let's say 300 and then 100 spacing so that's the distribution that I want the main bars so bars at the lower I'm going to go with 16s and I want 2 and again at the top I'm going to go with 16s and I want two again you can hook them if you wish so if you wanted to put a 90 degree hook in this instance I'm just going to run them as straight bars you have options to put in additional top bars but again I'm going to keep that pretty standard and we have the ability to splice the bars as well if we want to do a lap so we can click it and it will allow you to lap but in this instance I'm going to not lap it and I'm going to save as and save the configuration of the dialog box. I'm going to save that and saves it to an RXD file. I'm going to just call it beams. And then I click OK and it will reinforce that beam with that configuration and settings. So we have a quick look and you'll see that I can't see my reinforcement, but I'm going to use my Excitec toolkit. I'm going to change that the beams are unobscured and they're solid. So you can see there's the reinforcement in that beam and then I'm going to reinforce the other two with the same configuration. So select the beam, navigate, beams, and because I want to use the same configuration I'm going to load my beam file click OK it tells me there's a different geometry so depending on the divisions and the spans it will change it and then we select this one and again navigate beams file open select my beam configuration select OK and again back to my Excitec toolkit unobscured and then solid so you can see there really quickly we can get in and start to reinforce 
our beams. <laughs>